Welcome to the Portable Classroom. Today we are going to talk about the past perfect tense. First, we're going to talk about how and when to use the past perfect tense. Now, we use the past perfect tense to talk about something that happened before a past event. So take a look at this timeline over here. This is now. All right. So the movie had begun, and Peter arrived. On this timeline, you can clearly see that Peter arrived after the movie had begun. So if you want to talk about this one over here, this one over here, something that happened before a past event, you can see this is past tense. Peter arrived. Now is here. This is past. So Peter arrived, but the movie had begun before he arrived. So if you want to talk about when the movie had begun, we have to use the past perfect tense. So we say, "This is the sentence that we can make." The movie had begun before Peter. Arrived at the movie theater. <clears throat> so you can see that the movie had begun before Peter arrived at the movie theater. Of course, you can use、uh, words like "before" to link two sentences. You can also use "after." To rewrite the sentence by saying,、uh, "Peter arrived <clears throat> at the movie theater after the movie had begun." Okay, you can see in these two sentences we use before with the action <clears throat> that comes later. Peter arrived at the movie theater. This is the action that comes later. And in the the other sentence, the sentence that we use after, we use after. You can see that with the action that had occurred earlier. So after. With an action that had happened earlier. All right. So this is what we use the past perfect tense to talk about. An event that had happened in the earlier past before a past event. And we can also rewrite the sentence by using by the time. And this is I'm gonna show you how to do that. By the time it means when. Peter arrived <clears throat> at the movie theater, comma. The movie had begun. Of course, you can also use when for this. When Peter arrived at the movie theater, the movie had begun. All three sentences sentences talk about the same thing. The movie had begun. Had occurred, had happened before Peter arrived at a the movie theater. So again, we use the past perfect tense to talk about something that had happened before a past event. Okay, and these are the conjunctions that we can use with the past perfect tense. We can use before, we can use after, we can use by the time. We can use when. We can even say the movie had already begun to emphasize the fact that the movie had begun. We can say already begun. Okay. So this is how we use the past perfect tense. Now we know when to use the past perfect tense. How about the form of the past perfect tense? Remember how to use the present perfect tense for the present perfect tense. We use the subject with have or has, depending on、uh, the persons of the subject. First person, 
we use have. Third person, and it's a singular subject, we use has. So I have, they have, we have, you have. Third person, only one, he has, she has, it has. Peter has, Mary has. Just like how we use the present simple tense. Third person singular subject, we use this one over here, has. So this is present perfect tense. We use have or has with a verb, past participle. What is verb past participle? Quickly refresh our memory. Eat, the base verb. Ate, the past tense. And then eaten is the past participle. This one over here is the past participle. The, uh, eat is an irregular verb. How about regular verbs? Cook, the base verb. Cooked, the past tense. And cooked, the past participle. This is the past participle. And you can see that for all regular verbs, the verb past tense look exactly the same as the verb past participle. They're the same. Okay? So this is present perfect tense. If you want to review the present perfect tense, go to the section that introduce that introduces you to the usage of the present perfect tense. I'm not going to explain it right now, but how to make it into past perfect tense? Easy. All perfect tenses looks a lot like this. Have with verb past participle. Now, we're not using present perfect tense. Present, you can see these verbs are in present tense. Now, we're not, talk, we're not using present perfect tense. Instead, we are using the past perfect tense. All we need to do is subject. The past tense, pa uh, the past tense of the word have is had. And then with verb past participle. So this over here is the past perfect tense, the form for the past perfect tense. We use the past tense of have or has, had, this word over here, with the verb past participle. So this is what the past perfect tense looked like. Now let's go back to the sentences that we wrote. Look, the movie had begun, you can see that, had with the verb past participle, begun. <clears throat> over here, the movie had begun, Again, verb with the past participle. So remember, for the past perfect tense, the form of it looks like this. Had with the verb past participle. And we use it to talk about something that had happened before a past event. Here are some of the conjunctions that we can use with the past perfect tense to reach together two different actions. An action that happened in the earlier past, an action that happened in the past. We can use before, after, when, or by the time. Okay, these four are common. We use before with an action that happened later. We use after with the action that had happened earlier. Okay. So this is the video for the past perfect tense. Now you get a picture how to use the past perfect tense. Go to the lesson plan and look at examples in the lesson plan and get a clearer view of how to use the past perfect tense.